today i will show you how to install fans in a pc case correctly not just slapping them on but with proper airflow orientation and cable management i have divided this video into four parts for better understanding understanding the types of fans and airflow how many fans are needed and where can they be installed how do you mount the fans how do we test and tweak the fans so what are we waiting for let's do this How to install fans in a PC case? Types of fans and airflow. The idea is simple. To keep our system cool, we need cool air in and hot air out. That's why we can divide fans into intake and exhaust. Let me clarify here. The fans we install for intake or exhaust are the same. If we change the direction of a fan, it can be used as an intake or exhaust fan. But how can we identify the direction of airflow of a fan? There are three ways to do that. Reading the symbol. Some fans come with an arrow symbol representing the airflow direction on their bodies. Clean side is equal to intake side. The open and clean side of the blades takes air in and the fans support struts or crossbar side blows air out. Manual testing. You can manually test a fan by powering it up and holding a tissue or paper strip near each side. The side that sucks air in is the intake and the side that blows it away is the exhaust. How many and where? How many fans do we need? And where should we place them in our computer case? You don't need 10 fans to cool a toaster. Here is the basic setup that works for most builds. One rear exhaust, two front intakes, one bottom intake or one top exhaust and that's it. Mounting the fans. After identifying the fan direction, it's easier to mount. For intake fans, Keep the hub face outside. For exhaust fan, keep the hub face inside. Use the included screw or rubber mount to fasten the fans. Now plug them in. Use SYS underscore fan or CH underscore fan header on the motherboard. For RGB fans, use ARGB or RGB header on the motherboard. If you run out, use a splitter or fan hub. Tuck those cables neatly behind the tray to avoid a mess. Testing and tweaking. Boot it up and check whether the fans are spinning. You can also check the airflow direction with a tissue or your hand. If you want more control over fans, you can tweak their curves in the BIOS or motherboard software or a third party software like fan control. And there you go. Proper airflow, proper installation, no sweat. Like, subscribe or drop a comment if your fans were spinning the wrong way. We have all been there. If you want to know how to install a SSD heatsink, watch my next video and thanks for watching.